All right. Guys, have you ever wondered how to get Diflorite crystals in a very easy, casual way? Diflorite crystals obviously are the Living Story uh, Season 4, Episode 2 uh, material, which you can get in the Sandswept Isles. Now, there are two methods uh, to effectively acquiring these. There's actually three, because if we, if we count just uh, gathering the nodes here, um, on a daily basis, you can go around. You can get, you can get fifty Diflorite crystals just by going around the entire map. But that's too much effort, guys. That is way too much effort. So there are two other methods which I'm going to show you real quick here. One, one is kind of sneaky. One is kind of sneaky. The other one is uh, slightly, slightly, slightly less sneaky, but um, much easier. The first one, we want to go to the very bottom of the basin, the deep water cooling sink, in the middle of Rata Primus. We want to go down to this Diflorite crystal, because there's something interesting about this Diflorite crystal. It's the fact that even when we gather this, right? Let's just let's try to not get in combat. All right, we gather this, three hits. It's just a, it looks like a normal uh, normal crystal, right? Nothing special. Let's kill these golems real quick. Um, and I will hopefully be able to show you. All right, there we go. The difference here is that this, this node in particular is IP bound. Meaning um, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, go into the same uh, pool, account wide pool as all the other nodes in the map. It's IP bound and it will always respawn if you get a new map. Now I can't show you because there's no new maps here. But if I re-log, come back an hour later and there's a new map, this node will always be on. I can park literally all of my characters on this node and infinitely continue to mine this node on different characters. So if I just if I park my character here and I log out to to uh, another character, I place the other character here. I will continuously be able to open this, uh, to, to mine, mine this. And you come back an hour later, you can mine it again. That's the sneaky one. IP bound and character bound. Now, the second method that we have is, is arguably sneaky in, in another way because it, it uses the same kind of system. Um, let me show you real quick because this one though requires just a slight bit of work. Just a slight bit of work. So I'm going to run up here real quick. Oh, I'm going to miss by running up here. We're going to run up this way. We run. We want to do one of three um, puzzles that are in this map. One of three three puzzles. One of uh, one of these puzzles is the one which I'm going to show you is much safer than all of the others because at the end there are no enemies. Um, this place, this little puzzle, it's part of the story. Everyone gets introduced to it, the Layfinder Research Facility. Right down here, all the way down here. It's just a slightly little, it's just a, a minor little puzzle, which I'm going to show you how to complete. From the administration. Rumors of invading forces in the area are false. Your lab is entirely Firstly, safe. let me kill this Please real quick. Firstly, we need to go get the security code. You need to have done this on a, on the story on the, your character, by the way, or the security uh, database won't give you. Now, I actually forgot which one is the right one. So I'm just gonna, there, got the password. The last one, here we go. Um, now that we've got the password, we wanna go and uh, unlock or use it to unlock. I feel bad for leaving that guy. They're, they're fine, you guys are fine. Let's get a little bit of swiftness. All the enemies don't really matter. We're going to unlock this elevator control. And it's smarter than you. That's the password. Oop. We jump in. It's pretty, pretty quick puzzle, pretty easy. We get this little lay burst, which doesn't really matter. But what matters is that it allows us to flow with the ley lines. This we're going to use to jump down here again where we got the password just over the edge and oh and use this ley line oh 
flow with this ley line into this little room, open the maintenance, this door or this door control opens the gate over here, which is where the chest is, the chest that we're interested in getting. Now we're gonna just fly out here real quick and then over to this one, which carries us up safely to the room. Now the gate is open and this cache, nothing else matters except for this forgotten cache. This cache has a chance, it always will give you three unidentified gears, uh, 10 volatile magic and either congealed, uh, congealed putrescence, a, um, uh, a diflorite crystal or a, what's it called? Um, the super expensive there, a black diamond. One of those three. Now, the thing about this chest is that it is IP bound and it is character bound. Meaning you can place literally all of your characters right in there. You don't have to do the, the puzzle every day. You don't have to do the puzzle. Now I swapped to my thief, which has already probably opened it today. Um, but if you are on a new map, there we go. If you're on a new map, you pick it up. Diflorite, magic, pieces of, uh, of gear. We log out again. Next character, uh, we got uh, we got my uh, there we go my ranger. We log in. We just place all of our alt characters right at the end of this pu puzzle. One of three puzzles. There are others, but this one is safe. We get it again. Volatile magic. This one is safe because there's no enemies inside this box. In the other chambers, in the other puzzles, uh, there are enemies. Um, peripherally at least around also it doesn't really matter which level as you can see my thief here is level 53 there's no level gate for the chest so you can basically just jump in get all of your characters as many characters as, as you have do the puzzle or just teleport to uh, to a friend who's in there pick it up even if uh, if you can find another map uh, here we go if you can find another map in the LFG, you can just hot join, hot map hop, and this uh, chest will be back. Or come back an hour later, and the map will probably have reset, and you can do open the chest again. And it just continues infinitely, forever and ever. You never really have to do anything. That is one of the most lazy ways of getting Diffloride magic, but it is the way that I have gotten more than 4,000 Diffloride magic. Or different like crystals. So yeah, good luck farming, guys. Good luck farming. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's it. Cut it, YouTube.